there. This is going to be a hair selections tutorial that hopefully you're working through with me. And uh, we start with this rainbow background. So let's start here with the rainbow background and then we'll place in our first picture. So there are several pictures in the folder that you should be accessing. Um, we will start with the frizzy hair picture. Um, this is going to be a picture that essentially is on a white background. However, we are going to have some issues trying to select this because as you can see, she has got a lot of hair and it's kind of going everywhere. So we're in Photopea. The first thing I would probably try, if I were you, would be to maybe do the object selection. So hidden underneath the magic wand, we have object selection. And in Photo P, we can turn off that background and draw a box around her and attempt to select her that way. And initially, that looks like it's kind of okay. You'll notice here that it's missing her uh, body at the bottom. Um, but it's not great. Look at that. That's pretty awful. So I would suggest in Photo P that we utilize the Magic Cut option. So right click and choose Magic Cut. Remember you have to be on a selection tool to use Magic Cut. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then what you should see here is the um, actual person. Let me scoot this over so we can see the buttons over here. Um, the actual person, but we're actually kind of missing still some of the hair. Like see how high up the hair goes up here? We're actually missing some of this hair up here. Um, now, we can utilize the, um, the Magic Cut green and red area, so we can mark her body down here in the red, for example, um, so that hopefully we get that part in there. Oh, notice that just got rid of it. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to add it in red. Okay, so that's what the gray for, <laughs> by the way, is erased, so let's fix that. I'll make my brush big and fix all of this here. Okay, get rid of those. Um, that's what your gray is for, by the way. That's erasing anything that you're adding in there. And so I'm going to take my green and kind of get as much of this as I can. Remember, it doesn't have to usually be perfect in here um, because it is trying to help you. So um, there we go. We'll go out a little bit more and go up a little bit more. You want to try to get out there as best you can. Okay. Now, I'm going to suggest that for this one, and it looks okay, but you can see there are some issues over here still with the hair. And I could uh, maybe erase some of this so that it's not hitting the wall as much over there. And maybe it will help. Um, but then again, it maybe it won't. So I'll uh, try to get rid of a little more of the white on these edges. All right. So let's take a look at this on the background. So if we look at it on white, it looks fine. But if we look at it on black, eh, kind of a hot mess over there on the side. So I'm not going to put this out to a raster mask. I'm going to put it out to marching ants or selection, okay? Because then we still have some things that we can do to it. Let me, by the way, get rid of this initial mask. Okay, so we've got this out on a selection. Now I'm going to use the Refine Edge tool. So anytime you have a selection in Photo P, you can go into Refine Edge. And when we're dealing with hair, this is the one time that you definitely want to go into Refine Edge. You're already going to notice this looks a ton better um, here. So um, with Refine Edge, gray on this one means unknown, which usually is like the borders of something. So like around the edges, I can go around here and these are sort of unknown areas. Like some of it is selected, some of it's not. The white is definitely selected. So I'm going to expand that white out a little bit more just so it gets out a little farther. There we go. And then of course down here where the arms are, we want to include her body because that's kind of important. Um, in here. And I'm, I'm not going to go too in-depth on this part because I'll just touch it up when we get back into the other part. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go ahead. This already looks a lot better um, with those edges. So we'll go ahead now and put it out to a mask. So I'll hit OK. All right, there we go. That looks pretty decent. Um, we just need to fix some of the see-through areas, as we can see here. Now, this is one of those instances where I would hold down Alt and click the layer mask. Um, just so we can see where some of these issues are. So like I can see now better in these areas that I need to paint in in white. So I'm going to zoom up down here a bit. And then we'll take a white paintbrush. Remember, you need to be clicked on your mask. And I'm alt-clicking here. Oops. Turn it back on. I keep hitting the wrong button. All right. So there we go. Now I'm just going to paint in this edge here. Oops. I think I went too far. So let's undo and try again. Remember, each time you let go, you create another undo state. So I want to kind of be careful here. 
All right, um, let's go over here. Same situation. Now I'm going to let the hair kind of be as it is because, you know, it's hair. There's going to be some daylight through there. All right, let's hit Alt click here. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. Uh, again, I can continue to click on the mask and paint over here. I think the arm's good in there now. Yeah, it is. Okay, you know, I think we're good over here. She just cuts off her shoulders because she does. But otherwise, that looks pretty good. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to press Control-0 to zoom all the way out, and we're just going to position her in here. All right, so we got her in there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next. So file, open in place. Um, let's take the horse. So same situation. You can try your object select if you want to see if that will catch your horse or not. Um, okay, that did pretty good, right? Not too bad. Now, if we were to add the layer mask right now, it's kind of, <laughs> for lack of a better word, crunchy, okay? So I'm going to delete the layer mask, and we're going to go into that refine edge, okay? So let me click back here to when I was selected in. I'm going to back up in my history. That's my history up here, if you can't tell. History. I'm going to back up to when I selected it, okay? And then now we're going to go into that refine edge. You have to be on a selection tool, click refine edge. All right, now we are ready to deal with this. I'm going to put my background on white um, just so we can see the little wisps of hair better. Um, so let's zoom up a little bit here. So this part looks pretty good. Um, the tail, not too bad. We obviously have some issues down here that need to be taken out. So we'll take black for areas to be removed and just kind of work in there a little bit. Um, hopefully getting rid of some of that. Okay. And that's not kind of going away exactly. We may have to touch up some of that on the actual layer mask later on. Um, and then uh, remember, white is to paint in anything that you want to make sure is included. Uh, most of the stuff that's included is pretty good. The gray is the unknown areas. So back on the back of the tail here, we may want to hit that just a little bit with some gray. See how much better that is now? Um, if we were having problems here, we would do the same thing here. But this actually looks pretty good, so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, so we do have some little areas we need to get rid of, right? Um, you can choose to do that in a different screen though, because we don't have access to all of our tools in here on Refine Edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one out to a mask because the hair looks good, so I wanna keep that. I know some of these other areas don't look so good, but those are easier to fix somewhere else, okay? So raster mask, I'm gonna hit okay. All right, now we've got our horse out on a mask. I'm gonna turn off these other layers so we can see better. And then now we can start dealing with the pieces that need to be painted in. Again, white to paint back in, black to hide. And remember, this is where you can um, also turn down the density, so the properties, click on mask, and we can turn down the density so we can actually see where things are. So now I can make sure, and I, right now I have a, a, a mostly hard brush, actually it is hard, I usually do about 90 or so, a mostly hard brush because these have hard edges, and I need to make sure that I have hard edges. I don't want a soft brush because then I'm going to end up with fuzzy edges. All right, that one here could have a little bit more to it. So again, hopefully you're doing this with me and um, you're fixing these little things on yours maybe while you're listening. Okay, here, this little part here, we need to get rid of this. So you could take and paint here. Now I am one of those people who just tries to do things the easiest way. So I'm going to go to quick selection and I'm going to try to click in here and see if it'll grab that part. So I'm going to click on the picture, not the mask. Oh, I'm going to have to rasterize this one. Um, and that's okay. The quick selection brush in this program requires us to rasterize. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to click on my mask, take a, a black paintbrush because we want to get rid of it, and I'm painting in that part. See what I mean? So we can still use those selection tools in a very like creative way, and then press Control D because otherwise you can't work on anywhere else. Okay, they're sort of fringing there I want to deal with. All right, and then you just kind of keep going. I'm holding down space bar, by the way, so that I can move to the other areas. And then same situation here. Now, some of this is like, you're not going to have all your pieces of this horse because part of his leg is down in the grass or whatever. So, um, you know, just kind of build what you can. Down here's my fake, my fake hoof, I guess. And then this one here, I'm just going to level it off, even though it's kind of like grass of some sort, but it's okay. 
All right, and turn that density up. And then now I definitely need to take and follow up with a black paintbrush to get rid of all these little remnant pieces. Okay, you wanna make sure you get rid of all those. And we're gonna be putting it on a patterned background, so it's not gonna be like the end of the world if there's some teeny pieces around, but we just kinda of wanna, you know, avoid it as much as we can. Now, if you are gonna be touching up these areas, I know people think I'm obnoxious as to how much I like to zoom in, but you need to zoom in like really, really close. It's just the easiest way to make sure that you are getting the best selection possible when you're refining these layer masks. Okay. All right. Let's see. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Okay. And then you've got to go position this. I'm in photo P, so control alt T in order to transform and he i have him somewhere like this i don't have my picture pulled up i need to pull it up here in a minute but it's like she's dreaming of horses i guess you would say okay so <laughs> we've got that one on there okay time to grab the other piece let's go in here to place and we're going to place old paris hilton here um she's going to go over on this side somewhere kind of partially behind our frizz queen there and um, again, you could start with your object selection if you're going to do that. I would suggest just turning off the other layers and dealing only with it. Or you could try your magic cut. You know, it's just really up to you. Oops, got to be on my selection tools here. Um, all right, Paris, right click, magic cut. You can also go to your select menu to get to this. All right, wow, we have a lot of stuff missing. And then for some reason, it thinks this light belongs in here. See how the green is painted on top of the white, the light there? So that's definitely a red zone. So I'm going to come over here and paint that out because we don't want that in there. And if there's anything else that you see immediately that needs to not be in there, and we have more of a problem of we're just missing a ton of her right now. So I'm going to kind of go through and try to see if it can understand that she has a face. <laughs> that's kind of important. And an arm and a body. She's holding a cup over here. So that actually is her arm and then some of this stuff. All right, now what you're seeing is it's also thinking that we need some of this over here. So I'm gonna go mark some of this one red so it realizes that's not part of her. And again, this is not going to be perfect. You are going to have to still go and do some work outside of Photoshop or outside of this uh, screen to make it work. But we wanna make sure we've got the hair good. So we're gonna take that gray and just kinda hit these little wisps of hair a little bit just to make sure. Actually, mine's not one to go now. You know, it's weird how sometimes it will and sometimes it won't let me use that. But, um, oh, wait, I'm not in Refine Edge. I'm in Magic Cut. That's the my, I get that messed up every single time. Okay, we're going to leave it alone. Now, remember, I like to put this out to a selection when I'm coming out of Magic Cut. And then I can go into Refine Edge if I need to, to do the gray part around the hair. Although this one's really not too bad. I think we'll be okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to selection first and hit okay. So here she is in her selection, which again, not perfect, clearly, um, but we've got some of it here. So obviously I know this area here needs to be added in. So you could take whatever you want. I'm just gonna go with a plain old lasso, to be honest, and lasso in that little section. Uh, and you can do this however you want to. You know, like up here, this part's a little bit weird. I may go into Refine Edge in a second just to try to fix that. This part should still be in here, and this part should be gone because that's her armpit. Oops, wrong way. I hate when that happens. Yeah, make sure it's on minus if you're minusing something out. Okay, um, I think that yellow is something on the wall. Not really sure. Um, and then we'll add in this little dot here. Okay. So again, I can go through here and try to fix any of these other areas if I want to, or I could go ahead and put it out to layer mask. I'm just going to put on layer mask for a second just to see how it looks. Okay. Hmm. Kind of rough. So I'm going to delete the layer mask. And actually, I'll just back up. I guess I could back up to before I added it. So I'm just backing up in the history so I don't have to delete it and then undo and all this stuff. Okay. So let's go to refine edge and see if we can. Oh dear fix that huh. so yeah not so much good news happening in here so it has a lot of gray area marked um, if you notice so I am blacking out a bunch of this and then I'm going to take my white and try to get in here for a bunch oh I might have gone too far over there we'll see in a minute when I let go because I still haven't let go of my mouse okay we're getting there 
Still really struggling with her poor face. So, sorry, Paris. Uh, okay. Now, here's where I'm going to have to get in here and make sure this light, this lamp, is not included. And then I'm going to go through and add some gray areas. So right now it thinks those other areas are gray areas. That's the problem. I could actually go ahead and like dip into here. I'll lose some of her head. <laughs> Sad. But now I can come in here and try to paint some of these as gray areas. So right around the edges. Eh, still a rough selection. So is the problem with doing these live is you just never know exactly how they're going to turn out. And I have done this image before, and it looked pretty good the first time, but definitely not as good this time. Uh, yeah, we're struggling all here, Paris. Okay, so this may not be the right tool for this particular one. I, I may have her worse than she was to begin with. Um, but anyway, so play around with it. Decide what you want to do. I'm actually going to cancel out of this screen um, and see if my layer mask is... Ugh. Anyway, okay, so, yeah, here we go, and I'm just going to touch this up. Now, I am zoomed in, so she's actually not quite as blurry as she appears to be um, at the moment. Okay. The good thing is, when people don't have your original image, they really don't know what it looks like to begin with, so you can kind of fudge little pieces of it and make it look better than it really maybe does. Big problem really is that head up there. I'm going to go back into my refine edge here in a minute. I'm just doing this as kind of a cheaty way and seeing if it gets any better. Okay. All right. So fun tip here. You can utilize, and I, I may not want, I may not like this. So in a minute, I may completely like get rid of this because I may hate it. You can utilize your existing layer mask as a selection. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to delete this layer mask, but I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to click. Oop, not Alt. I'm going to hold down Control and I'm going to click. And it puts the marching ants back on my gal. So like now, I'm going to disable this mask. But I have the, and I'm clicking back on the thumbnail, but I have her selected. So now I can go back into Refine Edge. And then I can see, <laughs> no, that's definitely no better, and I don't feel like messing with it. Um, but you could go back in using your selection as a starting point and trying to see if it's better. That is not better, so I'm going to Control-D, and we are going to enable that mask and let it go. So anyway, I mean, it doesn't look too bad now that I fixed it. I really wish this side of her head looked better, but anyway. All right, so there we go. See, put it all together. It's not so bad. She is going to be positioned behind this gal, so now we'll put her there. This is when then we see some issues. So this gal has a little bit of haloing going on. Um, frizzy hair does. So a little tip with that, as I take paint in black this time, I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use one of these brushes that looks kind of, I don't even know how to explain what that looks like. It says sketching hard when I put my mouse over it. So, um, so that it's not just erasing and straight up. Um, oops, I didn't click it. So that's useful. Let's click it. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm going to make it bigger. It's just a bunch of dots. See it? See up there? It's dots. So now, as I, I'm going to be careful, I get too close in there and it's deleting stuff. There we go. So I'm just kind of going around the edges a little bit and see how that sort of, it's cutting into the hair, but not in a way that you're going to notice because it doesn't delete straight away. There you go. See, that looks a whole lot better than it did before. Um, except, of course, her shoulder. That shoulder has problems. So let's take that mask and turn it down and figure out what in the world I did to this poor girl's shoulder. You can see this is definitely more of a time-consuming piece that we're doing here today. But I really wanted you to um, go through the process of dealing with complicated selections. And hair, is just, it's just always one that gives people a lot of trouble. All right, that's a lot better. But maybe we're missing a little bit of shoulder. I was probably better before I painted on there. Okay, close enough. She's got a kind of blocky shoulder right now, but that's okay. All right, so finally, the last one is the baby. So I'm going to place the baby. Um, this one's kind of complicated, but only because the baby has um, 
parts of the picture are kind of blurry and parts of the picture are not. So see how this was just the way they had their focus. They focused on the face and so this stuff's blurry. So it makes it a little bit harder to select for that reason, but we're only really worried. This isn't that hard of a selection. You know how to do it other than the baby's hair. So again, you could go into your magic cut and start there if you wanted. <laughs> wow, another really awful beginning selection. I don't know why sometimes it thinks certain areas are included when they shouldn't be. Um, but anyway, all right, so you can go through here as before, marking your areas to keep and getting rid of any areas that need to be gone, marking them in red, um, and so forth. Let's see if I can. There's like some random erratic little green parts that are creating issues in here. Oh, I guess we, yeah, okay, there we go. All right. The big thing here is going to be this baby's hair. So let's go with that gray brush over the hair. Oh, nope, I'm on magic cut. So here I just erased that out, didn't I? I'm really bad about that, aren't I? Oh my goodness, look at that. That's awful. Okay. So, I, you know, I might would have started with a different tool now that I think about this. Gone to my object selection and then straight in. But anyway, so you could start here. You could put it out to selection and then you could hit refine edge. And you could try to go through and fix this a bit, right? Now, whether or not you want to mess with that or not will be up to you. Um, or you could start out, I said, with another tool, you know, so you could go, oh my goodness. You could go the route of um, refine edge first. So, you know, do your preliminary selection and then go into your refine edge first instead of going to magic cut. And like I said, every time I do it, it's different. Like I could do this same activity four times in a row and it's not going to look the same it just isn't um, especially when you're relying on the computer to just choose tools because it will choose the tool it thinks is best and that's not necessarily what is best because it's a computer and it doesn't really know all right so anyway but you'll go through I'm not gonna make you watch me do all this because we're already 20 minutes in um, but you will go through and make sure that you get rid of areas that need to be gone remember if you take and paint out in black and then you have areas that are partially um, you know, like have hair and so forth, then you go back over those areas with the gray. Those are the in-between areas. See how much better that is there? That's what you're going to do with hair. You're just going to make sure you go through the gray. The rest of these I'm not so worried about because these are easier to fix somewhere else. It's the hair that you really want to worry with. So I'm going to put it out on a mask, and then, of course, I would have to touch up the mask. I'm not going to make you watch me touch up the mask because you know how to... Oops, did not click on the mask because you know how to touch up masks, so... Um, you don't need all of the explanation here, but I'll at least fix this little face. All right. So anyway, plan to touch up all the rest of that. And then, of course, you're going to control all the T. Put your baby in the other corner where it's going to live. And again, I don't recall what this looks like, and I don't have it pulled up. So you'll have to go compare it to the final uh, figure as well. But anyway, again, I have touch-ups I need to do on the baby a little bit. Um, but for the most part, there you go. Here is photo P and going through complicated selections, uh, kind of starting with some of photo P's fancy tools, the magic cut, using that refine edge. Just remember painting in gray with the refine edge is what you want to do over the areas that have hair. And you might want to go over those areas first with black just to get them out completely and then paint them back in with that gray brush. When all else fails, control D and start over. <laughs> Sometimes that's just the best thing to do. Okay, good luck.